Okay, round six. I did realize I misspoke earlier. Uh, we, this is actually going to be the last round. It's five wins, which is the maximum. So we are playing for all the marbles. Our opponent's mulliganed, and this hand is a little bit awkward. So I think we will also take the benefit of mulliganing. And we'll keep this hand because any land gets us a decent defensive body in play, and any two lands gets us another decent body into play. So we'll scrape anything but a land to the bottom and any land to the top. Yep, that'll do. So any third land gives us Piston Fist, Cyclops, or Direct Current. So many Healer's Hawks. So many Healer's Hawks. All right, another mountain. That's not the worst. Runaway Steamkin. That's an interesting one. Blimey. All right, well, we're definitely going to direct current here. Go for battle. It's very good in the Boros decks. And, uh, oh, our opponent's not even attacking, okay. Well, how greedy do I feel? Not that greedy, let's just get that into play. I wouldn't be averse to quasi-duplicating this quasi-static field. Possible is first just direct current Seamkin here. But I would rather direct current the guild mage later on. So I'm going to take the opportunity here to quasi duplicate the field and to play 2 1. And we're just going to try and make the game go longer. Because we've got the kill on this guild mage next turn with direct current. We don't need this maximize altitude the way this game is playing out. And if we draw a land, we can quasi duplicate st quasi static field first. Oh no, we couldn't because we wouldn't have had enough stuff. I'm going to be patient. I'm not feeling awfully threatened. I've only got one card in hand, so. Let's just copy the field now. This adds up in the long run. And we're not going to attack. Because even if this becomes a 4 4, we can just trade our Piston Fist Cyclops off. The Guild Mage is going to tap something. Yeah. That's fine. Yep, lock it, we don't care about. I honestly don't think you should play Boros lock it in a Boros deck. And we're going to hold up this Daneful Stroke. It's taking three damage any spell we cast now. So we are sitting pretty. That's fine, that doesn't do anything against all these walls. We'll probably just take four this turn, not the Steamkin. And then we can trade off Cyclops next turn. Oh, he's not even attacking. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to hold this land for future jump starts. Yeah, opponent's cashing it in for two cards, that makes sense. You definitely don't need the mana when they've got Steamkin on three as well. 
that doesn't do anything. Even though they're a Boros deck, we do expect this Temple Strike to have some hits. Okay, that's actually mildly threatening. I'm going to have to take a few hits off that. Because this is a sorcery, we can't use that to make this... Well, any of our creatures big enough. Still not attacking, though. This doesn't make sense. But our opponent's attacks are perfectly good. Uh, I mean, what happens here? They get in nine. I'm just going to take that. I'm, like, I've got time to take nine. We do lose our 2-1, but that's not the end of the world. They're not even attacking with the Steamkin. They're not attacking with anything. What? Nothing makes sense anymore. The second Cyclops means we can double block this as well, so unless they're trying to double Cosmotronic Wave. I will counter that, though. That seems worth countering. game's gotten quite weird. Is our opponent dead? It's a 5 power flyer, 8 power flyer, they've taken... yeah, they're dead. Do we attack? It's just not worth it, no. Yeah, and with the speed that we got the option to do that, I think our opponent's got nothing and we're auto-passing. Yeah, there we go. We've killed them out of nowhere. Quasi-duplicate doing work. And we're one game away from all marbles. Again, we're going to be on the draw against the Boros deck. So we are boarding in the White Splash. Possible we want to board in these, but that seems a bit key. Boarding up the two mesmerists, the mountain, and the radical idea again. Let's see if we can take another game off post mage. That hand does not do anything, so we're going to win that. This hand is good if we draw one land. And being on the draw, I think we can afford to keep this. It's a little bit slow, but... Alright, we need to find a land. We didn't see too many farm spells, so this dragon horse does do a decent job against the healer's hawk. No. We got that. Oh, we did see the Maniacal Rage. So we don't need to combine Wee Dragon and Sure Strike to deal with that. Rock Charge is annoying. Yeah. I'm going to discard the Sonic Assault. It's not going to do anything anytime soon. But this game's probably got away from us. <laughs> Risk factor. Yeah, let's take four. They're definitely not giving our opponent three cards. They're only doing two damage a turn, so we can afford four damage. Okay. Play Electromancer. It's going to give us the best chance of getting back into this. I 
No, that's not good. Oh, no, it's because it's been flying, of course. So take three in the air. Probably get to take another four from the risk factor. But, yeah, we haven't got what we need here, so I think we have to Sonic Assault to keep ourselves alive. Not good. And this certainly isn't blocking, so take four, five, six. Yeah, we need to go running lands here. We didn't cast the risk factor. How bizarre. There's no counter spell for it, so. Down the healer's hawk, discard sure. No, not sure. Strike first trace to recruit is the least useful card because sure strike might be necessary on a future block. We take two. All right, okay. Not dead. Unless they have a removal spell for the Dragon Horse, of course. Or a combat trick. Yeah. We could let our opponent have three cards. I think that gives us more chance. But. Yeah. We're just so far behind, we have to take risks. We're dead to any damage. Yeah, there we go, all right. We tried. I don't think giving our opponent three cards there would have worked out well either. And I don't think we're gonna change anything. Typical that the game we get mana screwed is the one where we've boarded up to 17 lands and are on the draw. But these things happen. <laughs> I'm not keeping this. Five lands and two combat tricks is not where we want to be. That hand is much better. We're going to scry land to the top. Put electrostatic field into piston fist cyclops unless they play a healer's walk, which they inevitably will, because that seems to be all we play against. Yep, healer's walk. There we go. Dragonauts. Our opponent attacks when not blocking, because that's 100% a combat trick. Oh, do we have mana screw? Our opponent is mana screwed. Smell blood. I'm smelling blood. That doesn't actually let us any. That that was a terrible attack. Because we just let them attack. It's just bad. Alright, moving on. That was bad. Right, let's stop being aggressive, that's silly. We do let our Legion Guild Mage friend tap down the Dragonauts here, but then our opponent's not committing to the board. Mm hmm. Where's the duplicate will be great here. Oh no. Healer's Hawk. It's not like we can block and give it first strike. Dodged a bullet there. This even plus two plus oh doesn't save it. 
uh, sorry, plus two, plus two. So that was fantastic for us. We are going to need to draw some gas though quite quickly. We are flooding badly. That is definitely gas. Let's make some Dragonauts. I'm going to attack. Our opponent is so far behind if we draw a spell next turn. Got three damage, and every spell is another six damage. Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right, we're back into the holding pattern. Serpent. Just dead to a Cosmotronic Wave, yep. We'll hold the island for jumpstart. A direct current would be nice, we can kill the Guild Mage and then... Legionnaire, risk factor, yeah, we will take four. This is not scary at this point. We did it! Cosmotronic Wave! I believe the technical term is WEEE! And there we go! And that is how you win a draft on Magic Arena. You get six packs and 2,100 gems for that, I believe. which is more than enough to enter another draft. So, very happy with that. So let's go and open some packs. We've got a couple of packs from our weekly rewards as well, so special treat. Dawn of Hopes, decent sideboard card for constructed. Help Collector, I've already crafted these, so this goes towards the vault. Get a gold wild card for our sixth pack. Gold wild card, I mean, I mean rare wild card, of course. So that turns into any rare we want later. There's another wild card because you can open the boosters. Overgrown tomb, fantastic. Shock lands are always great to open. There goes our uncommon wild card. Response Resurgence, this is potentially playable in some Boros decks. A sure Assemble, definitely a reasonable effect. Probably not quite good enough for Constructed though. Mythic Wildcard, always nice. I prefer gold, the rare wildcards though because I actually find that getting lands for the mana base with rare wildcards takes up more of your effort. So there we go. Got a little extra eight packs in there. We want a draft. We've still got gems for at least two more, probably. Well, if I'm going to continue to succeed at the rate I am, this will be another six, seven, eight drafts. It's quite easy to go infinite. Um, I haven't paid any money since the open beta. I had 8,000 gems left over from the previous wipe and I haven't spent anything left. I've done at least 10 drafts now, so if you're getting decent at a format you can keep drafting for a very long time and Arena lets you do it for free, so get on Magic Arena. It's really good fun. As you saw, the games were extremely quick and eventually you'll build up a collection for Constructed if you're drafting away.
Also, if you still got it, there's a code on the back of your pre-release pack, which gives you a free sealed event. And also use the code play Ravnica, capital P, capital R, and you get three Guilds of Ravnica boosters straight away. And you do that by going into the store and redeeming the code down here. So, get playing Magic Arena, have a great time, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>